Welcome to this week's resistance download. The theme is questions. Why am I in a kid's nursery area? Well, because for me, the whole idea of this download came from being a dad. Uh, I remember when we had our first child, Titus, when he was born, and once he began talking, you know, about a year and a half into his life, and really began to start formulating some things and putting sentences together as he got older, uh, and second, two years old, three years old, four, it was pretty incredible to see how many questions he would ask in a 24-hour period of time. And when you research kind of the background of questions or history of questions with in relation to age, you see that the younger people are, the more questions they ask, the older they get, the less questions they tend to ask. And it's not because they don't need to learn anymore, it's because somewhere along the way we lose the art of questions and asking things and we become more focused on simply speaking and saying things. Unfortunately, as you and I both know, that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, what I love is my kids learn so much because they're asking so many questions. I remember sitting at the breakfast table this morning and my two girls probably asked me 30 questions in a period of about five minutes. But they wanted to know about stuff. How's lunch gonna work today? How's that gonna work? What do you think about this vacation coming up? How do you... And they're really trying to absorb. And I think unfortunately, I know in my life and probably in yours, we sometimes forget to ask questions. Well, what happens when we don't ask questions? We find ourselves angry with people. We find miscommunication. We find discouragement. We find a misunderstanding. We find conflict because when we don't take the time to listen and to ask questions, we end up having conflict. And it's really important. Uh, there's a passage of scripture that talks about this. It's found in the book of James. Uh, as we've been going through our study through Ch Francis Chan, there's been some interesting kind of concepts of this that come to light. But James chapter one, Verse 19 says, my dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. The author James, the half brother of Jesus, seems to indicate that the reason we get angry is because we're not quick to listen and we're not slow to speak. Well, what's one great way you can do that? By asking questions. And so my challenge to you this week is really simple. I wanna challenge you to ask more questions than you give answers. To ask more and listen more than you speak. You'll find that it's hard. I have been. I've been trying to intentionally hold my opinion back as of late and just say, well, tell me what you think about this. And the funny thing is often as I do that, the real issue begins to come to light as I take the time to hear them out and I silence my voice and allow myself to process through what they're going through and then speak back and actively listen to them, I found that a lot of my conflicts resolve themselves. I found that a lot of times I'm able to work through things that are really complex and the Holy Spirit gives me strength and wisdom to do that, but I have to ask questions. Let me finish with this thought. Think about Jesus. Did Jesus speak more or did he ask more questions? Jesus was the master of questions, wasn't he? When someone would ask him a question, what did he respond with? A question. And often he revealed the motive or the heart of a person and was able to deal with the situation in a way that sometimes I think we miss out on, myself definitely included. So my challenge to you this week is be like a child. Begin to ask questions again and listen and see how God might work in your current situation. I love you and believe in you. I look forward to seeing you next week.